Around 76 million people speak Tamil as their mother tongue, mainly in South India and Sri Lanka. However, the colloquial language differs greatly from the written language, and fewer and fewer people can read classical Tamil. And the Pandya king founded the first academy in southern Madurai. There, gods, kings, and men sat together and wrote poetry for 4,440 years. Then the sea came and washed them all away. And the Pandya king founded the second academy in Kapatapuram, but it too was swallowed up by the sea. And the Pandya king founded the third academy in northern Madurai. There they created for us the eight collections and the ten cantos. Under the direction of Professor Dr. Eva Wilden, the Academy of Sciences and Humanities in Hamburg supervises the long-term project Tamilex, creation of an electronic corpus of classical Tamil literature and a historical dictionary taking into account indigenous, exegetical and lexicographical sources. It is funded as part of the Academy's program, which is coordinated by the Union of the German Academies of Sciences and Humanities. The aim of the project is to create an electronic corpus of the most important texts of Tamil literature from the first millennium. A text base in the form of critical editions, translations and digitized material is already available and has been in progress for 20 years. Corpus dictionaries, which means lists of all occurrences and derivational forms of the manuscripts, will form the basis for a bilingual historical lexicon. Cross-references will provide access to earlier printed dictionaries. The whole thing will be designed as an interactive online tool that will also enable direct engagement with the source texts. We are working here now on the first historical dictionary of the classical Tamil language. Classical Tamil language is not the sort of language you can learn overnight. It's a language made by language professionals for language professionals. So it takes a couple of years to master even the basics. And since in India now education is based mostly on English or even on Hindi, this sort of knowledge is not transmitted anymore. The early poetic anthologies of classical Tamil date back to the beginning of our era. They have contributed to the great literary heritage of mankind although they are still little known in the West. They include an extensive tradition of love and heroic poetry, but also didactic, epic and religious collections. For a long time, they were passed on orally from teacher to pupil. <laughs> So our main source for these classical Tamil texts are palm leaf manuscripts. And because of their material, they deteriorate really quickly in the humidity and the heat of the tropics. And they've been recopied over and over again every couple hundred years. Uh, right now, the, with the manuscripts that we have left, the most important task is actually to make sure they're preserved properly, um, kept in the proper conditions, and then also to digitize them so that people around the world can actually have access to them and to see them and work with them. After that, uh, when we have everything digitized, then we can start to analyze the different versions of the text that are in these manuscripts because they've changed and evolved over time, whether because of mistakes that scribes make when they're copying or intentional uh, differences that they, that they um, add if they want to like, change one word or something. Um, and we, for that, we use tools from bioinformatics to look at the evolution of the text. And in addition, thanks to our affiliation with the Center of Manuscript Studies here at the University of Hamburg, we have access to a whole lab of really, really interesting equipment that we can use to analyze the materiality of these manuscripts, like X-ray imaging, uh, multispectral imaging, and also um, a really nice rig for digitizing the manuscripts. Editions will be printed, but the, the main goal is to, to create online interactive bilingual tools in which one can see both the Tamil and the English. And the Tamil will be seen not only in modern script, but also uh, as images or as facsimile of images, as faithful to the manuscript as is possible, because uh, people still have to learn how to read manuscript. The project is planned to run for 24 years. That sounds like a long time, 
But take a look at Grimm's German dictionary. How long did its first edition take? Around 100 years, roughly. The Tamilex team brings together researchers from three continents aged between 24 and 90 around one table, albeit often virtually. In this way, the Tamilex long-term project in Hamburg is becoming a hub for the preservation and renewal of knowledge.